Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys, or attempting to show you guys, how to build a rocket oven. Um, you know, if anything pops off, you know, at least you'll be able to burn some wood, uh, and um, and plus it's just fun to actually do this outside. Um, and it's super cheap, I think the whole thing was like uh, probably nine bucks. Um, and in another video, I show you how to split the brick straight in half. Um, actually, this will fit in there. I show you in another video how to split the brick straight in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like you can see on the outside, it's not going to be totally perfect. But um, that's the way. Uh, I I'm, did another video the way you can do it um, if you don't know how to split a brick in half. All right. So you want your base, which is two center blocks I have, right? And then you want to lay your bricks down like this. Two in the back, three up front, okay? And then I'm just gonna start stacking them so you guys can see how uh, it's done. Um, so you wanna overlap them. So this brick right here, you wanna just make sure that you're overlapping with that one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and build it up. Okay, that's the second layer kind of straighten them up a little. Uh, that becomes important because you don't want it to be uh, moving around too much. And then that other half, you only split two bricks in half on this one, or one brick in half on this one, because um, we're only building uh, three, three high. Okay, so there we go. We got that other half, and then we have that bottom half over here. And then you take that other, another brick, and you put it right over this one, and you want to kind of if you can, get it to touch this other side, but if not, it's really not that important, just as long as it's kind of steady. Um, we're not cementing this thing in, so. Then you, it's easy after that, you just build up. And now you have your little pocket, and you have a spot to put your wood, okay? Keep going to overlap. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect because you can adjust it. And then you put one in the front here. Now I'm going to show you in another video how to uh, how it all works. So let's go ahead and get to that. So here you go. Once you get the fire started, it's a lot easier. So I'm going to let it get started a little more. And then basically you just feed wood into here and uh, the heat rises so it goes up through the chimney here and you just put that on there and it cooks. Uh, you put a pan on there, excuse me. I'm using my thing for my stove. Just put it on top of there and put the pan on and uh, let it go. Alright, here we go. Fire's going finally. And uh, it actually took like 20 minutes. If I had better fire starting stuff I think it'd work a lot better. But basically, you can see the fire in there, and then as you the fire burns, you feed the wood in. And uh, we're going to try to boil this. Uh, we're not going to be drinking this or anything, so the water's a little dirty. But I'm going to boil it to clean it out. Here it is, a little lower. So you guys can see how it all works. Basically, the fire comes up through there. Which I don't know if you guys can see how you guys can see it. And then, here is the furnace area. And you basically just keep feeding wood into the furnace area and it comes up through there and it uh, works great. You just keep feeding wood in there and uh, it keeps heating up. <laughs> so yeah, pretty good. Nice and hot water already. Sterilized for sure, huh? God bless. Thank you Lord for what you're doing now. Thank you Lord for everything.